in this video I will be talking about MA3B3 type complexes and uh, what do I mean by that so you can see these kind of molecules this is your central atom which is denoted by M here and uh, you have uh, three A's which is denoted by green sphere here and three B's so whether the green is A or the blue is A it doesn't matter here the other one is B so you can have these kind of molecules here how many these kind of molecules are possible right so these three here are just as an example maybe one of them um, like two of them are superimposable and this count is already greater or maybe we have more such molecules right so let's begin thinking about it with a plan so the plan is that we will use superimposition technique as we used in the the video with the, where all the six ligands were different so we will repeat that kind of thought experiment and uh, for that we will of course start with infinite randomly oriented structures ma3b3 models with this structure right so suppose they there are infinite such molecules and then i bring the green one then i adjust them in a way that the green sphere is pointing up so when the green sphere is pointing up then we will have two different kind of molecules in the first kind the green will be opposite to the green and the green which is pointing up will be opposite to the blue in the second kind let's explore the first kind so in the first kind the third green will be somewhere here in one of these four positions so wherever it is we can always adjust it by rotating about this axis this axis if I rotate the molecule then I can always adjust the third green at this position right and then we understand that there is only one molecule possible right so when the two greens are pointing opposite to each other there is only one molecule possible and that one looks like this okay when we have a green which is pointing up and the blue is opposite to, the, to, to this green then we will have two greens and two blues here at these four positions somewhere so that this time the situation is a little bit complicated because uh, there is not only one thing which I can command to be at certain position so okay let's explore the second kind how can we proceed so let's say adjust a second green whatever there, there are two greens there but let's adjust another the second green sphere here so then we can see the three possible molecules um, three possibility arises so th this green and this green is here you see this green and this green is here this green and this green is here the third green could be here or the third green could be there at the back side and the third green could be here so that way we have these three possibilities so from infinite now we are at four possibilities right but still we need to be sure that these new structures which are arising here are uh, not the same ones which are being repeated so for example in these two one can think these two could be superimposable because you see the three greens are together and three blues are together here also the three greens are together like close by not together so close by and the three blues are very close by so these two might be superimposable so we need to check for this superimposability and uh, let's uh, check it are they superimposable uh, so I have not shown it here by uh, rotating the molecules I have not done that you can of course see that if you rotate this molecule here by let's say this side okay and if you bring this green here then this green goes here and this blue goes there and this blue goes goes there and then the whole structure gets superimposed with this right so this is not a new molecule so let's remove that and now let's think about this this could be superimposable with the first kind right because you see the two greens are opposite here also the two greens which are opposite they are not at the up and down position here but here you see that two greens are opposite to each other so if you adjust these two greens in the up and down position maybe you can superimpose this thing with that with the first molecule right so let's check for that 
can you guess whether it is superimposable or not take a look maybe if you want to try yourself pause the video so I can see very easily yeah this is superimposable because if I rotate about this axis in just one move if I rotate if I bring this green here then this green goes here and then this green goes here and this blue comes here and you will see that this is superimposable with the first molecule interesting so that way are they superimposable yes so we drop them drop the second one and uh, now we are pretty sure that there can be only two molecules with the structure ma3b3 right only one new molecule possible in the second kind right so the answer is two and these two looks look like this are they enantiomers of course not because if they are enantiomers then they would have to be mirror images of each other so in the mirror image the two greens if you take the mirror image of this molecule then the two greens should be opposite in the mirror images too but these are not opposite here so they are not mirror images no and uh, also what if you is this molecule the first one here is this molecule optically active or chiral so that you can also try by taking the mirror image so this time you take the mirror image and you try to superimpose it and you will figure out that they that the mirror image turns out to be superimposable if you don't understand how to decide whether a molecule is chiral or not i have a separate video on this topic so this molecule is not chiral neither this one so this molecule is also not chiral okay nice so these molecules are not optical isomers none of these molecules rotate the plane of polarized light so they can be called geometrical isomers by the principle of exclusion so and uh, which one is cis and which one is trans so you can think because geometrical isomers are normally um, classified or normally named as cis or trans so that is possible here also because you see in this the greens are opposite so you can maybe call it trans and uh, the, the greens are adjacent so you can call them cis because the in in the structure in the molecule when the green is opposite the yellow the blues are also opposite so you can call it trans and you can call it cis but uh, we have a better uh, nomenclature uh, prefixes or <coughs> sorry better names for these molecules and these names are when you look this uh, look at this the green here if you connect all these three greens you can you feel this is like a meridian suppose this is uh yeah this is the photo picture of the earth so this is north pole and south pole and when you draw this kind of a line right or maybe that kind of a line these lines are uh, meridians so they uh, they start from a top point and they go to the bottom point of the figure and they passes through the equator also you know so in, in the octahedral geometry you can feel that this line is like a meridian and the second line also if you join the blue ones then also you can feel that this is like a meridian this is not a latitude because octahedron is a is a very a symmetric figure so you can consider this as as the top and this as the bottom right so these lines are like meridians and the, the similar groups are lying on the meridian that's why uh, these uh, this geometrical isomer will be called meridional okay and how about the second one in the second one we can if we join the similar groups if we connect these similar groups then what we get is a face of the octahedron right this octahedral shape is fitted inside can be fitted inside a octahedron and when you join these three similar groups here also you see here also you can see that the similar groups are on the face of the octahedron so you can call them facial right so we have these two stereoisomers here none of them is optically active and they are also not enantiomers they are geometrical isomers and they are one of them is meridional and the other one is facial so that's it for to, for this video and uh, if you want to solve 
if you want to try this question then you can try this question pause the video look at the question and then um, you can comment the answer below so thank you very much for watching